XYZ ingredient. In this video, I'm going to talk about an XYZ deck. I will explain what makes a good XYZ deck. Also, I will tell you what you need to know when creating XYZ decks. Making an XYZ deck. The things you need to create an XYZ deck are as follows. 1. Choice of rank. 2. Monsters of the same level. 3. Choose the type of XYZ summon you will use. 4. Plain XYZ support. 4. Archetype support. 1. Choice of rank. The first thing you need to do before making an XYZ deck is choosing your rank. Check my how to you give fact to remind yourself of what a rank is if you don't know or have forgotten as I explain it there. Moving on. Remember, XYZ summon involves using two monsters of the same level. So when I say choose a rank, I'm talking about using monsters of the same level pertaining to that rank. For example, a rank 4 means using two monsters that are level 4. You overlay them. Overlay means putting the monsters on top of each other. To make a rank 4 monster, what I have said here is the logic that applies to all ranks. I'll give a, you a list of popular ranks in you give Rank 2, Rank 3, Rank 4, Rank 5, Rank 7, Rank 8, and Rank 10. Now a list of the least popular ranks. Rank 1, Rank 6, Rank 9, Rank 11, and Rank 12. 1. Choice of Rank Continued to summarize, remember XYZ summons are all about ranks and using monsters of the same level. So a rank 3 uses two level 3 monsters, a rank 4 uses two level 4 monsters, and so on. You get the idea. Very important, an XYZ summon can only be conducted if you have two monsters of the same level. Extra bit of information. Here, you may see an XYZ saying the following text. Three level 4 monsters. That means, as it says, you use three level 4 monsters. In general, whatever an XYZ monster says, there, follow those instructions. Or, two plus level 3 monsters. This means you can use as many level 3 monsters as possible that you control. A plus means you can use as many monsters as possible pertaining to that level that is mentioned on the XYZ monster. Please note, this info is only relevant to XYZ summoning. 2. Monsters of the same level After you have chosen the rank which you will use, make sure you fill your deck with the appropriate level that matches the rank that you are currently using. Useful tip, don't use multiple ranks at all in any deck, period. There, this is a recipe for building an unbalanced deck, filled with constant consistency problems. Never do that. Choose the one rank. Stick to it. Never do multiple unless you are proficient in deck building and are of a high level. Best advice I can give you on this matter, understand level monster synergy in your deck. Which level monsters do you summon the most in duel? If you can summon multiple levels of different values a lot and consistently throughout a duel, do it. If you don't, don't do it. It's that simple. 3. Choose the type of XYZ summon you will use. 1. Plain XYZ summon. 2. Rank summon. I call this rank summon since after you have plain XYZ summon, use a rank up card to rank up your XYZ monster with Chaos XYZ counterpart. 3. Extra deck XYZ summon. The summon is called this since after a plain XYZ summon, you use the effect of an XYZ monster in your extra deck to overlay on top of the current XYZ you have on you. 4. Plain XYZ support or archetype support. The last step is now deciding whether you need plain XYZ support or archetype support. 1. Quick note. Plain XYZ support is card usually saying XYZ in the title or in the card effect text. I will give an example of plain XYZ support. XYZ Reborn is a normal trap that allows you to special summon an XYZ monster from your graveyard and when that is successfully done, add this as overlay material to that monster. 
hard effect text to the box front of the picture with the effect of the card. 2. Archetype Support This depends if your deck is an archetype deck. If not, then you will generally use Blade XYZ support. Since this support is part of an archetype, you will find it easily, so I don't need to offer an example here. More info on archetype is in the video Step by Step Deck Building. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.